So this is a demo on how to stretch watercolor paper. The first thing we're gonna have to do is get some water on a sponge. And we're gonna have to take the tape from the last painting off of the board. So I'm gonna take my wet sponge over to where my board is. And I have to put the water on the tape in order to um, loosen it in order to get the tape off. So I'm just putting some water on here and I'm going to let the water soak in for a minute or two. And then I'm going to take a scraper and I'm going to scrape off any of the tape that's on this board where I don't want it. I'm going to try to scrape now. I can see though that it's not quite soaked in because you can actually see where the water is starting to soak in on the tape. Um, and I'm going to pull off anything that came up at this point. Oops, I gotta go get some more water. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple minutes to soak in. Once it's soaked long enough, you should actually be able to take a scraper and scrape the tape right off the piece. You do want to have the um, scraper at a shallow angle so that you don't accidentally like scrape the board because the paper will pick up any scrapes that you have on there. And it may take a little bit of effort there. I could actually pull it just with my hand. Here I'm going to have to scrape a little more again. Part of the reason we use the tape is so that there's no marring on the surface of the boards when we're trying to get stuff off. I can see there's still a little bit of tape in a couple of places that I'm going to have to get off before I can put new paper on this board. Now that I have the tape all off this board, I'm going to take a sponge, just make sure there's no tape left, and then while this board is still wet, I'm going to go and get a piece of watercolor paper and I'll show you how to stretch watercolor paper onto a board. So I have my whole board completely free of the tape. I've got my paper out, um, the watercolor tape, a uh, clean sponge, and a uh, water bin over here on the side. I'm actually gonna take my paper that I cut to fit my board, and if you notice, there's extra space around it so that the tape will actually fit. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my piece of paper and slide it gently into my bin of water in order to get the whole thing wet. And I only need to let it sit in there about 30 seconds. I'm then going to pick it up very gently and let the water drip off of it. Once most of the water is off of my paper, I'm going to take it over to my clean board and I'm going to just very gently um, roll it from one side to the other onto my board. Once it's down, I'm going to immediately come over, grab my tape, and I'm going to tape the different sides. What I'm going to need to do is I need to get a sponge. The sponge is completely clean. There's nothing on it. I'm going to get one of these pieces of tape that I pre-cut. Actually, I ripped it to size, but you could cut it also. Um, and I'm going to just take the tape and place it on my piece. And I actually want to rub the tape down, but I don't want to actually touch the paper because the paper is really fragile at this point. I'm going to wet the second piece of tape. And what I want you to notice is I'm going to go immediately on the opposite side of the piece of paper that I have here. And again, I'm smoothing it out. And I've got about... Um, about a half inch from the paper edge is what I've actually rubbed down here and I'm actually rubbing the tape down um, pretty thoroughly to make sure that it actually grabbed the paper. Um, once I have two sides down, and notice again I went opposite sides, so I went from one side and then it's opposite, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the smaller sides. It doesn't really matter which side you do first, so long as you always do opposite sides. And you have to make sure to get the tape completely wet, because if the tape is not wet enough, the glue will not activate, and 
then it won't grab your paper. On the flip side of that, if you get the tape way too wet, it actually um, does the opposite effect and all of the glue will come off. So here I've actually sealed down all of my edges and you can actually see there's um, no gaps or anything. So on this piece of paper, you can see there's a little bit of a gap here, and this side didn't get down because the person didn't actually wet that tape enough. And hopefully you can see there's like a ripple in the paper. I'm not sure that this is going to dry flat because um, the person did a little bit too much water on one side and then not enough on other places. Like right here, you can see there's not enough um, there wasn't enough water on here to actually grab the paper and the reason that's bad is that it doesn't actually stretch the watercolor paper completely. I wrote my name on my board and then I'm going to take my board over to the drying rack and I can see there's a little bit of a bubble in my paper right now but hopefully as this dries the tape will help stretch this out. As it dries the paper is going to shrink and the tape is going to want to keep it where um, it is and so it's actually going to pull on this and it's going to stretch that paper back out flat for you.